Eric Braun, and this is my Milestone 3 video log. Um, what we're looking at right now is my Week 2 turn-in. Um, some of the issues I was having was that it's not matching the reference exactly. Um, it should match the concept art a lot better. Uh, like, for example, in this horn right here, you have a similar thickness going all the way through. In the reference, you can see it's thicker and then tapers off. Um, Another thing was as I was too big, not in the right position. Same thing with the nostril, too many teeth. There's not enough horns coming off the bottom of his chin here. Um, and um, if you look at the chest plate going down the front, down his neck and chest, you'll see that the shapes do not match the reference exactly. It's almost like the Batman symbol if you look at it, the way comes down at three points um, and mine are not exactly like that so here we have what I've been working on um, I've added this fourth horn in I fixed the issue with the teeth I, I count three that you could see popping out from the upper jaw uh, shape of the nostril I refined the eye has been pushed back and decreased in size. If you look at this horn flowing through this ear, you can see that the size now tapers off. It starts out larger and ends up coming to a sharper point like it does in the reference here. Um, another thing is all these are not on the same plane anymore. I even ended up looking, studying the reference very well here. Uh, let me move this up. Just put it right about here. Um, you can see that it, this frill, there's a wave to it. So that's something I put in there. Um, another thing I did was these ridges right, right there. I added those to my model. Um, I fixed the gap between the horn and the ear right here. I think it matches a bit better. One thing I did was I played around with the lighting. Um, it helps you see the shadows better. Like if you can mimic what's in the reference, I think you can more accurately hit the target of the concept art. Um, this spine it was more perpendicular in mine from last week. Like if we look at it, see right here. Um, another thing I did was added all these scales going down his neck. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about them. You can see that there's a center line in each of the scales based off the value change. And mine are not matching that exactly I plan on fixing that this coming week if not tonight um, the legs are separated now because that's what I was working on last um, what else to say I tried matching the forms in the upper jaw better too. I keep locals turned on, but I'm trying not to make too many changes because. But yeah, I also try to add all these minute details. You can see how the skin folds over here and here. That's what I got going on right here. Um, The horn's more straight up and down. Mine was a big curve. It still is a, a little. Oh. I'll fix that. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I would like to meet up in a go to training if possible this coming week. Um, Still having fun with this one. I, I can't wait to re-apologize in UV, Matt, because I know that's when 
the real magic of adding textures happens, which I'd love to see this guy textured and re apologize for proper rigging. Um, so thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.